how to put up a store like Common Room PH. Ah, paano ba? <laughs> that is the most frequently asked question sa atin. Hi guys, I'm Roma. And I'm Matt. Of Common Room PH, and for those who don't know Common Room PH, Common Room PH is a shared retail space of more than 200 local makers and artists. Yes. Okay, so sa sa gutin na ba natin ang question nila at imaan? Drum roll. Paano nga ba magkaro na sarili mong store? So long story short, guys, ang pinaka tip talaga namin is. Start with pop-ups first. Ang long story. Napakahaba talaga. Mahaba talaga siya. Walang short way of saying the long story. <laughs> yes, so 13 years worth of story siya bago yeah. kami nagkaroon ng Common Room PH. So, ang dami namin ano, experience points na nabaon. So, hindi siya madali. Everything talaga takes time. Matututunan mo siya as you go along. But we're hoping that this video will be a hack for you. So, yung 13 years nyo maging 6 na lang or 4. <laughs> So what is a pop-up store? Lagi nyo yun yun pop-up, pop-up. Ano yung ibig sabihin ng pop-up? Pop-up store means, well, from the very term pop-up, very temporary event space. Um, siguro, ano lang siya, it's a three-day thing, pwedeng weekend, maybe one day, but it's very temporary, very short term pa. Sometimes, others call it bazaars, others call it art fairs, but Basically, if it's temporary, it's a pop-up space. So, the reason why, ito yung advice namin sa lahat na nagsisimula is because kadalasan yung mga nagtatanong sa amin, talagang wala pang experience in putting up their own store. Napakamahal na investment ang magkaroon ng sariling store. Isang problema na yun altogether. You don't have experience pa in managing multiple brands. So, that's why it's important to have a pop-up. For example, you're a crafter. Crafter ka. So, somehow, you have a business sense already. But magkaiba kasi when you're managing different art crafters and That's makers. Still. Yes. Mas marami siya. Siyempre, you're not just overseeing your brand. Parang magnify mo siya with all of the partners or all of the brands under you. So, Kailangan mo experience yun. How to deal with different makers and artists who all have different personalities also. And different growth yung learning nila, ba? So magkakaiba. Earlier, we mentioned na it's a very long story for us. Actually, it's 13 years. Bago kami nagkaroon ng common room store, we actually are participants of bazaars. Para naging ano na kami nun, professional pop-up joiners. Sa mga nagtatanong sa amin na mga artists, for example, sa mga province sa gusto magtayo ng sa nilang common room PH dun sa province na yun, then I guess ngayon pa lang, you start building trust and relationships sa mga cafes mo, kabazars mo, ganyan. Kasi when we put up common room PH, yun talaga yung nagdala sa amin. Common room PH is a new idea at the time in 2015, but because we already have relationships with the artists and makers that we met in fairs, so kahit new yung idea na yun, they were willing to take that risk with us. So kayo, kung basarista pa lang kayo ngayon, then that's what you can do already. Yes, yeah, slowly ano, build your network. So makikilala mo sila kapag you regularly hold pop-ups. You know which artist can actually supply products. Sino yung artist na nag-fit sa certain location na yun. So that's another thing, location, di ba, sa pop-up. If you hold pop-ups, ma lalaman mo kung anong location ang pinaka-okay for your store kung magpa-permanent store ka na. Iba-iba rin kasi yung ano, eh, character and buying capacity ng isang location. Like for example, some location may be younger, mas bata yung audience. So that would also determine the type of brands that you would invite. So siguro kung mas mature yung market or mas foreigners, they have more dispensable income. So you can actually invite brands na medyo mas matataas yung mga price points or medyo mas ano. So the location really informs you also kung okay ba yung market dun sa place na yun. What's nice about holding pop-ups is since it's very temporary, you, you can actually be very mobile. Pwede kang 
mag-multiple setups na iba-ibang communities. Ang dami mong data on the type of consumer and foot traffic. May mga bazaars kami na salihan before. Nakala namin sure hit siya kasi nasa gitna siya ng ano eh, ng ganitong location. Daming tao dyan. And then na-realize namin, ay, Patay pala siya pag ano, weekday, so walang tao. Interesting na makita mo yung mga insight about the location. So that's what's good about holding pop-ups. You can be very flexible. Nakakampante kayo dun sa mga magiging location yon ng future bazaars kasi nga na-try nyo na yung space. And somehow kilala na rin kayo ng community para magiging familiar faces na kayo sa kanila. So parang they would actually look forward to seeing you there. No? Parang, oh last year you were here. So mm-hmm. meron ba kayong ano, summer pop-up? or ano, Valentine pop-up. So, parang nagiging regular and you're slowly becoming part of the community or the location. So, aside from building relationship with the makers, you're actually building relationship with your market. Yes. So, by the time that you decide, okay, nakapag-ipon ako or we were able to gather investment already, then the investment is somehow safer because one, you have tested the location already, you have experience in managing multiple brands already, you did the marketing already for that pop-up and somehow you also have a relationship already with the market of that location. How to put up a successful pop-up space. So we'll take you behind the scenes sa pagtayo namin ng SMR pop-up in hopes na makakuha kayo ng pointers if you do decide to hold pop-ups para eventually you'll have a shop like Common Room. First is, I guess, ang pinaka-importante is location. Location, location, location. Kaya ka nga magpa-pop-up is sana kumita yung business mo, right? So, importante that the location is great. So, in the case of SMORA pop-up, we were fortunate enough that we already have experience in SMORA in 2019 and we knew that it was a good space to try. In 2019, syempre wala kaming experience. But syempre, para magka-experience ka, kailangan mo itry. Yep. That's why when we tried in 2019, nakita namin na okay siya. That's why when we were invited again to hold a pop-up this year, game kami. Mas sure na kami. Mas may, may information na kami. Okay, this is a good location, location. to try. Next is capability. Siyempre, kahit i-offer sa'yo yung opportunity na yon, and even if maganda yung location na yon, if you're not capable to feel the pop-up, then hindi talaga pwede. So, <laughs> I guess... Hindi mo na po na. Oh my uh-uh. God. So, nung nakita namin yung space, sabi namin, okay, sige, parang kaya. Ilal- maglalagay lang kami ng shelves. Yeah. So, in terms of having partners naman, doon lalabas yung importance of having a network. Since we already have at, um, our own community, mga makers namin, who has been with Common Room for quite some time, it was so easy for us to actually fill up the space kasi may mga partners na kami. Also, in terms of capability, yung mga shelves. Ayun na nga, ginamit namin yung shelves dito sa warehouse. <gasps> So, hindi na namin kailangan gumawa pa. So, in a way, we can say that when we said yes to SM Aura, we were capable of doing it. When you're, for example, you're not capable, like you don't have our own shelves, you can't, ano, and ang kaya mo lang pop-up is yung parang yung mismo artist yung maglalagay ng setup. That's okay also, ha? Don't think na hindi kayo makakapag-hold ng pop-up without that. Yeah. But it helps if you have a theme, for example, mm-hmm. and guidelines para masusundan ng mga makers kung ano yung look na you're going for. Because again, this is not just for experience, ha? This is for branding also. Next is hook. Important yun, hook. I, hindi siya sobrang importante for others, but kami kasi, since it's an arts and craft space, it's really important to have a hook. Yung ibig sabihin ng hook is merong reason kung bakit gustong-gusto nilang pumunta doon sa pop-up space. Aside from, nandun ang mga artists and makers na pinofollow nyo, dapat talaga, meron talaga ang reason for them to be excited and to be more involved. And sa lahat ng pop-ups namin, we always have that hook which is yung mga installations natin, yung mga activities, activities natin, mga workshops, mga workshops yeah. natin, yung mga installations natin that they can actually be involved in. Like for example, they finish a mural or they write their answer in a board, mga yeah. hugot, yeah. di ba? And in SM Aura, the latest one, anong hook natin? natin? We have like a very big mural which we partnered with, ang ink. 
Tapos ang theme naman ng illustration along the wall is really life in quarantine. Like, how did people thrive during the pandemic? So, makita mo, it's a very big wall. Ang dami yung mga Easter eggs. Like, you can look at it the entire day and may, maha- may makikita kang bago. So, that's what's really interesting about it. When you're thinking about a hook, think of ano ba yung kind ng experience na gusto naming ma-bring out when they visit the pop-up. Kasi at the end of the day, oh, it's a shopping experience. So, ano yung bago? experience na gusto mong i-design for for that space. I think that's what's um, going to make the experience more worthwhile for your your visitors. And I guess related yung hook sa marketing. If more people share the experience, they post it, they share stories, they tell their friends about it, that actually helps promote you. So parang ano siya, very organic word mm-hmm. of mouth. And I guess the last tip ati man is to save. Importante yon. Kung business mo na yon, then I guess kailangan ni revolve mo na yung funds. Paminsan kasi pag creative ka or artist ka, paminsan nawawala yung business math side, side. <laughs> yung math side, de ba? If you think that putting up your own arts and craft space in the future is already in your dream or in your long term plan, then I guess you should start saving up already and doing the numbers already, so that by the time that you get that opportunity to have a location in a space na alam mong tested na, then somehow, hindi ka magsa-start from zero gathering investment or resources so that you can field and take advantage of that opportunity. Yun yung importance sa saving up. So, kunwari, ngayon, you think that you are not capable, you don't have the funds, don't think that it's impossible for you. Always remember that the two of us, we just started with 5,000 pesos and we just saved and we just learned from our experience and we became better entrepreneurs in the process and now we have Common Room PH and several branches of Common Room PH. So how to put up your own arts and craft store like Common Room PH? I guess the super short tip would be to really start slow for us. Ah. Slowly but surely. Um, para kung tatalud ka man, hindi ka sobrang tatalon sa kawalan kasi meron ka na experience. So kayo guys, if you have experience na pwedeng ma-add dun sa topic natin, make sure to comment below. If you like the episode, please like. And if these are the types of episodes that you like, yes. please subscribe and support our community. Bye guys! Thank Bye. you! Bye! Thank you and good luck in your pop-up!